Dark Noob, we have Hideout, Goth against Indians. Uh, possibly favorable for Goth. Are you hyped? Oh. Hyped for Age and Warcraft crossover. I'm not sure if that will happen. But yeah, well, like, I'm, I'm still waiting to... I, I wonder if they will share anything how they expect this to affect certain titles and other games going forward. For those that aren't aware, uh, Microsoft has acquired Activision plus Blizzard. Activision Blizzard, you can say. So, StarCraft 2, etc., Call of Duty, all this stuff has been acquired by Microsoft. So, yeah. Wonder how they're gonna do it. Would be cool if they spread some of the talent, RTS talent, to Age of Empires titles. Because uh, Blizzard did do StarCraft 2, was an amazing game. Like the smoothness of mechanics and flow of playing the game is just uh, quite on a different level in StarCraft 2 compared to, for example, Age of Empires 2. Did you communicate bugs with AV4 devs? I have shared, like, to what degree can I communicate with them? I have shared some thoughts in a Discord channel where a lot of players have access to, to share and share feedback but where we have never gotten any direct replies from any devs but there are people that apparently collect the information there and hand it over to the devs so yeah i don't know if our feedback is actually getting where it's supposed to go or actually having any effect but yeah i have shared i guess what i can siege is way too strong in av4 yeah, like think about compared to AV2, for example. If you're, you have a bomber cannon exposed and there's like three knights come across the bomber cannon. That bomber cannon's gone. There's no chance you're saving that. In AV4, you can just, okay. Oh, there's three uh, paladin there, or elite knights. Yeah, it's fine. Let me just roll back with my super speed to the villagers and they will out repair the damage they can do anyway. So, no problemo. Uh, stay in there. Oh. Yeah, I think there there's not enough punishment for being out of position, or you don't have to take as much care of your siege units in every force as you're supposed to. Think about StarCraft 2 as well, like uh, tanks, for example. If there's like four or five zealots catching tanks off guard in StarCraft 2, they're gone. Like those units are dead. You can other compar comparable like high value, high cost units. High Templars. If any other units get on top of High Templars, they're dead. It's just the amount of safety and safety net these high value powerful units in AV4 has is just way too high. And that, that also really pushes a stale, slow late game. Because Siege is just so dominant, walls are so powerful, and the only way to really counter Siege is Siege. So you end up with these really stalemate late game situations, which might make sense, like, Siege is a dominant tool, historically. So I don't understand why it's strong, but for a game... It, in my opinion, ruins a lot of the interesting parts of RTS. Start, start have two balancing techniques. I don't want that to be the become a thing, though, where suddenly, like, they want to turn Age of Empires into StarCraft, right? It should also not be, a, be, the, be the case. Why not delete the gate and rebuild while they're in deer? Waste of villager time, waste of resources. It's a short answer. Short and simple answer. I would have to use uh, a villager to go there and build a new gate, which is also a waste of resources. 30 resources. 
How to snack? I'm good, Adam. Uh, Dragos. Starcraft mean clickety clickety click click click. A lot of people think Starcraft is too much about mechanics or APM. Which it probably is to a certain extent as well, but there's also been massive amounts of strategy in the game. So while I generally think that it's about macroing, making units and just not shit. Let's go up. Uh, macroing and not falling behind or not losing to any all-in strategies. There's still a lot of strategy involved in StarCraft. I guess we're semi-faking feudal age pressure now. Or can we go... No wait, our population is fairly high. We can maybe go cast Lich. Thought it was pop to 20 pop. Uh, what are your thoughts on the maps warning warriors? Any that you are specifically excited for? Uh, I don't really like the maps. Overall, I was not impressed. I don't think a lot of them are very appealing as a player. But maybe they're exciting to watch, I don't know. That's just my opinion, bro. So. Like Boundary Brawl, I think, is bad. I think Houseboat is bad. When I say bad, I mean, like, for my own sake, personal opinion, I don't enjoy playing them. They might, might, some people might enjoy playing them or think that they're fun to watch. By all means, might be the case. But uh, it doesn't do it for me. We have two relics fairly safe. I might be able to grab them while just booming. What do you think of Warcraft 3? I've never played it. Never played it. I can't say. Still participating in Winter Championship? Yeah, I will, I will play it. But it will be with min min minimal amounts of practice. So expectations are fairly low. But I will play. Almost equaled the HP. If we can get one more hill somewhere, we can equal the HP. But we need a hill. Super excited for your games on Compass. Compass also, I don't find it very fun to play. Give me a hill! Why is there no elevation here? Come, come, come. Let's fight. I'm not leaving. Anakin. You know the power of high ground. Who signed up for AV4 ranked seasons beta? I have not. Ah! Don't block. Bro. Bro, that's not cool. Hmm. I wonder if I can make it to safety. Will I make it inside? While the gate locks? I think I will. Yeah. Ah, fool. I'm scared. Oh. 
Is a convert. Oh. See how that goes. It's potentially good, unless he was smart and has sent another scout up here. We might be able to snag one relic. Looking for la 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 la. Okay, fair enough. What if you really had cookies? Mm, I must admit, I did lie. I do like cookies. I just didn't want to fall for his dirty tricks. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's guarding all of this. A monk there. I think I do drop a barracks here just to guarantee myself two relics. Wait, this guy might actually die because he will have a second dude blocking there. I have to be careful I don't get the block. Uh, Chibated! Yes! Come here, little guy. Why are you running? What? Oh, that's not cool, bro. Oh, shit. Why did I stop? Give me the convert. What? He deleted his... What? Wait, what? Why did he delete his scout? You guys see that? He deleted the scout. Must have been a misclick. Made zero sense for him to actually delete his scout in that very moment. Question for him now is how does he deal with the goth spam? Indians is possibly the worst civ against goth. So it should be tricky for him. He didn't delete it, it died? There was just a monk there, wasn't there? Wait, was, did I have a pike there? What? I can get a third relic? Wait, did I have a pike there? And I didn't know? Maybe I just didn't know I had a pike there. Guess that's also a possibility. Is it in the TC? I'm not sure what you're, what you're getting at with that. I don't like it. I guess it makes sense to do loom here. I'm shocked I'm getting three relics. I didn't invest anything into scouts. Get for getting away here with three relics. That is crazy. Oh! He's bad, man. Yeah. 
Get him. Nice. Use Tuckers. 300 stars. Happy to have found you again streaming. Thank you for that. Very kind of you. Happy you found me as well. Again. Mm -hmm. Are on stone? A little bit of an overreaction here. Stone walls? Feels like hand cannons. I'm going onagers and cutting through the middle. Is it possible to put the stream in full screen? Yes. Yes, it is. Did you lose the will to the the bear? I think you did. Bert! Convert! How long does it take to convert? What? Crazy. It's possible to make game small and wipe face big. Hope not. Go back heal. Hello. Take you some time. This is a bait. He's gonna expect me to be attacking from here. Fusion as well. Can you go archers with God? You can go anything you want. There's just you probably want to go infantry most of the times for fairly obvious reasons. Mm, hope he doesn't know this. That I'm there. And he will be in for a surprise. Yeah. 
I just put one unit inside each barrack. He has vision there. We hope he gets scared. Oh, he has vision here as well. Shit. He knows. Do you have hand cannons ready? Champions? Fine. I go back. Could not start with that. My job is to take all his wood away. Hand cannoneers. plan you're gonna try to deny all wood <gasps> no let me out bro okay i have a lot of bills up there for some reason can't explain why. Can't say why, but I do. I'm still making bills. He also has bomber towers, uh, bomber cannons. So even if I do put watchtowers in every forest. And there's plenty of trees up there as well. Yeah, this is a waste. <laughs> what am I doing? Mm. Since he for some reason is completely open on top side. Oh! I think it becomes quite obvious of what we have to do. Is there a villager there? Yeah, we can save it. We do have what? No, murder holes comes too late. No, it was so close. If only had it a little bit earlier. We could have saved it. Goth, man, why so many barracks? Imagine the fear in your opponent's eyes when he sees a goth with this many barracks. Do I have to explain that? 
How do you feel knowing that there's a goth pair with 20 barracks outside your base? I won't speak for myself, but I would be probably not surprised. Heise? Chaise? I just really hope I don't have to go into skirms. I don't want to. Please. Not sure why there's a woman there, but she's now part of my family. This is perfect. This is one population wasted for my opponent that he will never be able to make military with. It's quite fantastic, actually. Be some resource down there. That's gonna scare him. What he walled? No. No. Why? Why? Yeah, Spearman doing work. Yeah, Onger's on the way. To be fair, it's only this woodland left. Besides all the wood in the back. Of course. <laughs> Spearman are winning. Need to make some units here to keep him busy. Oh, yeah. Gotta react with some champions there. Yep, yep, yep. Doesn't have an outpost there at the moment, so. That should be good. <gasps> What? He has units here? Well then, we push up there. Haha, <laughs> got murder holes. I will tower your woodline. Whether you want to or not, it's happening. Oh, 
He got all the market. He even upgraded the guard tower. Has the win down, so that's a win in my book. Oh, true, Drakkant was also a CL member. Oh no, there's a bomber cannon there. Hopefully, they didn't notice. Gonna be out of castles very soon. <gasps> what? I feel like he has given up on defending a little bit. Feels like it. It survives. Goth spam is real. I think it is borderline impossible late game for Indians. Can you lose this game? Uh, Relic advantage, map control, way better late game Civ. I think the way I lose is if both sides are full of stone world. It's kind of hard for me to cut open a forest and push. Like he cannot win being, being defensive. He has to be the one pushing and like force, like if he could force a constant fight in this choke point, for example, where I would never feel safe going, focusing here, focusing there, then maybe he could cost effectively trade in the long run with hand cannoneers and whatnot, but it's borderline impossible, I think. I think as Indians as well, you don't do this TC. This area should be completely free. You want to have like eight barracks and seed workshops here. You should build your extra TCs towards the outside. And you need production buildings here to be able to compete with pushing into the golf player. Have we made any ranges of stables? Uh, no. But seven barracks there, 19 barracks there, two barracks on the bottom. Yeah. Seems good. KD, very similar. He has 120 larger, 116 largest army. Yeah, we're way ahead in the economy as well. Good, good. But he had the counters. Yeah, but my units are cheaper. And his counters are expensive. So it's like, even though he has counters, it's still not cost effective in many ways. <laughs> 